Hey guys, this is Rolse, back in another Road to Glory episode, and I read in the comments of the previous Road to Glory that you thought that I came up against a lot of weak teams, but as Nepenthes always says, I don't cherry pick my opponents, I just play against the first person that wants to play me, and that can be a bad team, an average team, or a sick team, but I'll play the game either way, and in the last episode it was just a coincidence that all three teams were average, but I promise that this time I will come up against a lot stronger teams. And as you can see here, the first opponent I came up against had a very sick team. Full Manchester City with in from Richards and in from Balotelli. But that was not going to stop my Manchef as I gave a perfect pass to Jones to open the score. And here is Schürrle made the 2-0 and the 4-0, both with very nice finesse shots. Nothing to complain about in the 40, 53rd minute, I'm sorry. But he came on a little comeback as he made it 4-1. And here is Sergio Aguero with a crushing shot to make it 4-2. But he couldn't inflict more damage so I won the game with 4-2, another win into my flawless winning streak and I felt that it was time that I bought some new players but I went too bad and I started the recording a bit too late but as you can see here I bought Michael Bollock, a very sick central mid but I put him in the central defensive mid position because he has some very decent defending. And I bought Hummels to switch around with Naldo and Hoedis. So I had two decent spare centre backs to switch around with. And I also wanted to buy Mario Gomez from Bayern Munich. So I had a spare striker because Schuller was getting a bit tired. But I wanted to wait one more game. So I went into my second game against this full Brazilian side. But he had an Italian striker at right mid so he gets zero chemistry. And another Brazilian right mid at right back. But here Gertz with a very nice shot with his weak foot outside the box in the 10th minute to open the score. And after that a very nice pass and move sequence between Schürrle and Podolski. Podolski giving a nice pass to Schürrle. Schürrle is not going to miss from there. Nice finesse past Helton. Helton couldn't save that no matter what he did. But of course we aren't finished there because Schürrle here right place right time. To make it 5-0 I think at that point already in the 66th minute. And there's Schürrle just breaking free again. 1v1. Nice chip. Past Helton. Very, very nice chip. Nothing to complain about in the 90th minute. And that's how it ended. 6-0. So another victory into our flawless victory bank. We're going into a 6th streak. We're getting to the 50th uh, win streak in a row without a loss. I mean... How sick is that win-lose ratio? And you can see here we're buying Mario Gomez from Bayern Munich. I found one for 2.4k and if you look at the stats on this card, you wouldn't think he would be that good. But he got 92 attacking positions and what that means is that he will always be at the right place at the right time for you to give him a killer pass so he will score. So here in the final match we will see how many goals Mario Gomez will score. But I had a little problem while editing this game because the scoreline just disappeared in the middle of the game. So I couldn't see in what minute we were playing so I couldn't see the scoreline as well. So you will only see the goals that I came up against whilst editing the video. So he opened the score making it 1-0 with Jermaine Defoe. And you know that if someone scores against me I always go into a scoregasm mode as I give a cross to Mario Gomez. Gomez showing off those attacking positions just running straight forward. And with 92 finishing you're going to shoot it in 99% of the time. But we're not finished there as Shinji Kagawa a very nice curved finesse shot past the keeper. Nothing he could do about it and at that point it was already 6-1 I believe. And there Gomez just rushing past the defenders. A fake shot getting past them making it 8-1 with a finesse shot in the 76th minute. And after that he pretty much gave up. Here I break free with Luis Gustavo, a very nice chip, you won't see much goals from Luis Gustavo because he plays at central defensive mid of course. And here the final goal of the game from Lukas Podolski making it 12-1 at that point I believe. And that's how it ended, so I will show how many uh, goals everyone scored. So here I slow mo it down and Gomez 7 goals, Podolski 2, Götze, Luis Gustavo and Kagawa 1. To make it 12-1 and that's how it ended. I hope you guys enjoyed. Till the next time. Peace out. Bye. And as always. Thanks for watching.